guys, Sick Metal 74 here with a review of uh, BotCon exclusive Scourge. As you can see, Scourge is the leader of the sweeps, a very popular character um, in the end of uh, the last season of G1. Uh, at least season and a half, because you can count that fourth season as kind of a half or a quarter of a season. Um, you can see he's got great details on his wings. It's a very cool figure. He has some gimmicks. He's got the cyber key right here. What you do with the cyber key in vehicle mode is you lift this part up here and you plug in the cyber key and that happens. Swingy things flip out. Okay. Now what we're gonna do now is I'm going to transform Scourge on can for you. But you're gonna do what I do because I don't leave these on the legs. Is I just take these out right away. These bad boys right here. Wingies. Alrighty. And then I unfold the legs from the sides here and clip the crotchy piece together. And this piece here, which is attached here, is going to come apart there for now. I'm going to pull the arms out to the sides. This one, you're going to kind of just pull out that way. Okay. Now you can take this piece here close it back into that spot take and his legs like to pop off on all three of the molds that I have of this you're going to uh, clip it into the bottom here make that nice little tight clicking noise clip the leg back into place turn him here at the ball joint up the top and then I fold these parts back like so and like so so back here And then they fold the foot up, and you fold the heel out. Same on this side. You're going to take this piece, fold it around to here, fold it back, fold the foot out, get the heel. Scourge is almost done. You're going to bend his elbow there, turn his hand the right way, turn this this way, and then fold it straight. Turn the hand the right way. Flip this back piece down so you get the famous sweep wings. And then you can hold his weapon thingy like that. And last but not least, you're going to open them here. Take out his head. And there you go. There you have Scourge's head. It is a really cool mold. Alrighty. Now I'm going to pause this so we can do some size comparisons. And uh, joining me today on this review is Lady. Say hi, Lady. She's playing with her bone. She can't be bothered. Okay, so I'm going to pause this quick. We're going to do some size comparison with some Scourge and his friend. Okay, now as you can see, Scourge is in line with the other uh, deluxes in the Classics line. Um, uh, you can't really quite tell, but he's just a, ter a hair taller. Then Galvatron, a hair shorter than Cyclonus, which he's supposed to be. And I believe, really, in the continuity of uh, G1, Cyclonus is supposed to be the tallest of the three. Um, in the back here, you have Ratbat, who is the same mold of Scourge, and Cybertron Soundwave, Sideways, excuse me, not Soundwave, who is also the same mold. Now we're going to pull out Galvatron and Cyclonus. And I'm going to point out the differences in these guys. Okay. Biggest difference in these guys besides the paint scheme is the head. You can see Scourge has got his Scourge-tastic sweep head. And these guys have their regular head here. And if I can get the light piping to work, he's got great light piping in his face. Kind of like scary jackal mine thingy. 
and as you can see Scourge does not do light piping. Pulling the third guy here, Ratbat. And Ratbat also has light piping with the orange pumpkin face. Now the differences in these guys, the uh, of these two guys, uh, really is just the paint scheme, except for the symbols. When you uh, when you go ahead and uh, do the cyber key gimmick, sideways it does Autobot. You can see that, and Decepticon when you plug it in, and Ratbat does Decepticon when it's not plugged in and Omnicon when he is plugged in but in any case uh, for all intents and purposes this is Scourge and my sweeps for these guys all have the same articulation the head will turn 360 on all three of them the arm We'll go 360 on all of them on both sides. Bend at the elbow, turn at the bicep, turn at the wrist. They will go out, legs on a ball joint, back. It won't go back all the way because of the skirt, but it will go back and out, forward. And it bends at the knee, pivots at the foot, and at the heel spur individually. So you can get some great poses out of Scourge in these guys. Um, it's a great mold. If you don't have any of these molds, I suggest you either get Rat Bats or Sideways. Or if you have the cash, get Scourge or the Sweeps. I'd like to have the Sweeps, but I don't have the cash for that right now. I want to thank Sean Long for shipping me these guys. I love them. And uh, your Optimus Prime and Sunstreaker will be on their way shortly, buddy. Hey, we'll talk to you guys all later. This is 6 7, Metal 74. Rock out.